Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to the story of my very first competitive match in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I've been playing a couple of matches here and there over the last week or two and I immediately actually ran into a little bit of an issue here because I randomly disconnected in the very first match because I could not move my mouse. I decided to alt F4 out and then I immediately in the second round right here because we ended up losing the very first one, I end up showing my terrible aim right off the get-go. So. In general, the one thing I've noticed, okay, early on into the game and early on into this match, I actually felt a little bit nervous. I haven't felt nervous playing video games in a long time, especially because I played so much StarCraft, but because this is something completely new to me and this is something that I wanted to try my very best uh, to succeed in, I actually ended up getting a little more nervous than I meant to. And while I definitely don't play nearly as good as I could have been, um, I make tons of stupid mistakes that I will be covering in just a little bit as well, I felt like we played alright. In particular, early on into the game I play really sloppy and I make some stupid mistakes in uh, in the earlier rounds in particular but um, in particular right here you can notice like I'm starting to play very very stupidly safe I'm just trying to um, shoot at all the corners or at least check all the corners where I know enemies could be sitting just because of playing deathmatch um, but anyways like I make a lot of silly mistakes but there's a couple things that I wanted to notice right off the bat so since this is my very first like competitive match right and everyone in this game is gonna be relatively low in rank one of the things I noticed, and that I cut out for the most part from this recording, is the fact that a lot of my teammates immediately start blaming hacks and, like, other things for their mistakes. Now, this is sort of like... I mean, I, I play a lot of StarCraft, so I can easily compare it to that, right? Um, but, I mean, it, it feels like it's the similar... It, it's a similar thing to people in, like, Bronze League complaining about hacks, right? Like, it's not really true. I mean, there's a lot of... There's a lot of issues with, with, you know, the way I'm playing and obviously there's a lot of reasons uh, why I'm going down because I'm not properly aiming. But my teammates then were talking about how my, you know, opponents were hacking and how it was very obvious that they shouldn't be able to win this match. And, you know, I don't know if they're going to be winning. No spoilers here. Damn, we, we don't talk about that yet. But but anyways, like it's one of the things I noticed. A lot of people talk about hacks immediately right off the get go for no apparent reason at all. This is my very first clutch moment, though. I just took out their second to last uh, player and I am now in a gunfight with someone who is lagging horribly and glitching all over the screen and I do end up taking him out. Now, you can notice, okay, you can notice a little bit of the lag there or a little bit of like the nervousness as well for me. I mean, I could have definitely shot that guy out much faster and actually my hands started shaking a little bit because I wasn't, I wasn't used to that pressure, right, where I know the team is watching me and I know that, um, you know, it's basically do or die at that point. Like, if I if I don't make that shot, we lose that round. If I do make that shot, we're in a good position, right? So, that's something that was new to me. We have a couple more of these clutch moments in this video where I don't follow it up nearly as nicely. So, since I'm still playing the terrorist side of things, I didn't really know exactly the route that I should go ahead and follow. So, what I mean with that, like, most of the people that have played this before will know how to go from, like, you know, your spawn location towards A and towards B. And I know there's, like, different ways to get to short A, short B, and all those kind of scenarios. But, I mean, I, I didn't know how those runs were. I mean, I've only really been playing Deathmatch. I didn't really know how that worked. So I tried simply just following teammates around for the most part, in particular early on. And then to simply just follow their lead and go with them. Now... Um, I just tried focusing on the very basics, in particular at first, I didn't end up purchasing any grenades uh, early on, right, right now for example, I got a flashbang with me, but I don't really do anything with it. Right here, by the way, look at that, that, that was terrible. <laughs> I literally just backed my ass into that dude, but I tried focusing on the very basics, okay, and that would mean um, just simply trying to find where my opponent's head is, than trying to <laughs> hold down the trigger to, to shoot the guy. So, just playing safer, just trying to focus on the basics, and I do get the most eliminations, I believe, for the very first time here, and I start jumping for joy because of that. Now, a little bit later on into the match, though, I start feel, feeling a little more comfortable, okay? I was assuming that most of my teammates would be much better at the game than I am, and that I would just have to sort of follow their lead and listen to whatever they have to say. Now, I noticed very quickly that that isn't necessarily the case. I mean, a lot of these people are also new to the game, obviously, because I'm playing with them. So, as long as I just sort of maybe get a little bit stubborn, maybe get a little bit messy, I will be able to um, potentially get some good things going. Now, I do still get a little bit flustered from the commentary of my teammates, um, and we'll go over that in just a little bit, because there's one messy moment in particular um, where I start moving because of my, my allies telling me to, when I felt like I probably should have just sat back. But anyways, 
right here is a good example of, well, uh, of me getting a little nervous. So, obviously, it's once again a clutch moment right here. I know that it's just me against one other dude. I decide to plant the bomb, but I get a little flustered here, right? Look at that shooting. I move and shoot at the same time. I know fully well that that is a terrible thing to do, right? I do it anyway. I'm up against their sniper. I know that I don't need to worry about a lot of things. And yet, I start moving around like the total noob that I am, even though I should not be doing it. And that's just because I'm not. I'm getting a little nervous. I hear my teammates talk about that fight as well. And I know that I should try my very best to just stick to the basics. But I just get nervous. I lose all those, you know, I lose all that, that you know, thing that I've been practicing for. So we do end up switching right now to the counter-terrorist side as well. And the counter-terrorist side works a little bit differently. Once again, I had no idea where to be walking uh, yet. And I decided to just simply go a little bit more on my own way, okay? I decided to go towards, um, like, defending B instead of, like, going towards A, which is where all of my teammates went. And I do manage to get one of the kills there uh, with the Desert Eagle. So obviously, I believe this was, no, this was not the very first round. We ended up losing the very first round uh, that we played as the counter-terrorist. So I do end up looting the AK-47 here as a counter-terrorist. And I actually find out that if you save this one until the next round, you can actually start with it as a counter-terrorist, which is kind of interesting. Now, I believe this is sort of the moment where I start uh, feeling a little bit better. So I keep on moving towards this area right here. I know that... I've died a hundred times over and over and over again to people trying to save this area here. So I decided to sit in this very first safe spot where I've been shot from so many times. And even though I know sometimes enemies are there, I hear these dudes coming in and I immediately do take them out. Once again, some messy shooting, once again, some backpedaling while shooting as well. Not worth it, not something I should be doing. But anyways, I managed to take them out. Now, there's countless of different areas that you can be sitting in, um, in, that, um, in that little spot there, where you can take out enemies that are going through those double doors. And... Once again, I do get the most eliminations right here. But I decided to just sort of check out that location there and just learn those different spots. So I keep on moving over towards that area, try and test out the different grenades. So right there, I do end up getting flashed. I throw in, I believe, what was a smoke grenade. And I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting. I'm just being that guy that just sits right here. I mean, the idea is that we, you know, save objective A, right? So I figured I'm just going to try my very best uh, to have that happen. Now, at this point, I noticed, hey, they just threw out a flash from besides those doors trying to, you know, try and get mess with me. And I do end up getting one of the dudes that just randomly managed to hover by. I think we were sort of playing that patience game there. Uh, but oftentimes, I noticed that people will just flash this area just to try and be annoying to me. So once again, heading over towards that direction. I'm noticing that I'm moving a little bit faster by using the knife, so I just start moving around with the knife. I didn't quite understand why people did that. Um, but here I make one of the crucial mistakes. Here I make one of the mistakes that I keep, you know, I keep making the same thing. I keep doing the same thing wrong. I believe it's this one at the very least. It could actually be the next one. But anyways, like basically I reload way too quickly where I actually, you know, take an unnecessarily big risk. Um, and actually end up losing my life because of it. So oftentimes I find myself reloading when I have like 20 bullets remaining. For no apparent reason at all, when it's not like a safe place to do so either. I just do it because I'm, I'm not used to, to playing this game all too much yet, right? So right there, for example, immediately, immediately hitting that R button, right? It's just silly, it's unnecessary. I mean, with the M4A4, you just need two bullets to kill someone, right? So for the most part, you should be fine. But anyways, so this is another clutch moment here. Uh, it is currently a two versus two. I believe my teammate does get taken out here. Yes, he does get taken out. And I know that they just planted this area. Once again, moving and shooting at the same time. Really bad habit against a sniper in particular. I'm like, all right, what do I do now? Do I... Do I just go? Do I just go? So I decide to throw in the flash button right here instead and just try and take out this dude. Now, once again, I am moving and shooting all the time. And obviously, I want to be a moving target. Like, the idea here that, that's going through my mind, at least, is that I want to try and be a... A, a, um, a, a moving target, so it's not as easy for them to take me out, but it's just a little bit silly of me, and I, uh, you know, end up, um, I do end up taking those two kills, but mostly just because that, uh, that Alper just missed me, you know, he just didn't hit me multiple times. Another couple things that I've noticed is that a lot of people have really bad microphones. I mean, one of the dudes in my team tried communicating with me, but I just couldn't understand what he was talking about all too much. Like, he was speaking English, but I just couldn't quite understand what he was saying. So, microphones game was pretty weak as well. 
Um, but yeah, people people just sort of started blaming each other over and over and over again. Even though it's 12 to 12 right here, once again, a bit of a clutch moment against the same rubber duck once more. At least this icon is a rubber duck. And this is where I get triggered for my teammates. So one of my teammates here is like, okay, he's planting, he's planting. Go, 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 go. I'm like, should I not wait? Should I not try and wait this out a little bit longer? And I actually, once again, start moving and shooting at the same time. But I felt like I was... I was not focused on that fight right there, right? I was listening to my teammates, I was trying to uh, listen to their judgment instead, and that's just a little messy. So I believe this is the spot that I tried pointing out earlier. It's currently 13 to 12 in favor of them. I take out the one dude, reload, and fall. This is, this is what I'm talking about, right? This is the silly mistakes that I keep making. I shouldn't be doing that. So I do get my revenge in just a little bit to those guys as well. One of them decides to, I believe it's one of the same ones, decides to run through. And this time around, I decide to not immediately reload. But it's just like a bad habit that I have. Now, once again, I just keep running towards this location here. Just trying to keep on running towards this location, testing out the different grenades. At some point, I also uh, throw around a Molotov there just because I accidentally bought it and just see what happens when you have these different guys. So this time around, I sit behind these bricks here. And I know that this spot right here that I'm sitting and crouching at is actually super difficult. Once again, reloading way too quickly for no apparent reason. I do end up taking three out there. Uh, so I do, you know, at least do a moderate amounts of damage to the enemies and... You know, three out of five is pretty good, um, and we end up uh, we end up being in a in an okay place here. But either way, you know, like I have the tendency to reload much too quickly and just make silly, silly, silly little mistakes like that that just cost me my life over and over again. And those will just have to be, you know, those will just have to be removed. Those habits I will just need to get rid of. So at this point, it is a one versus five. One of my teammates does get taken out, but in the end, um, you know, that does uh, that does help in favor of us. So at this point, once again, moving over towards that direction. And at this point, I believe they have learned, for the most part, their lesson where they decide to not actually go through it anymore. However, I think I ended up flashing myself there. Um, I'm not 100% certain about it, so I just sit back for the most part and decide to start moving a little more aggressively. Now notice, it's currently 14 versus 15, which means that no matter what, this is going to be the final round. We need to try our very best to at least get a little bit of, um, you know, damage done to our enemies. Obviously, it's a two versus three right now, and they are going to be the terrorists. They will need to plant that bomb. If they manage to plant that bomb, they will be in a great, great position. We've got B covered, but at that point, we realize they're not over at B, and we need to head towards objective A. So I just start to start moving there as well, being extremely careful. There's still a full minute remaining, and this is where the nerfs kick in, okay? This is where the nerfs kick in and looking back at this it's pretty silly it is pretty silly because it's really not that clutch of a moment but in this scenario like in the moment itself i felt like this was like a do or die moment and i had to try my very best so try hard mode activate it shoot the very first dude in the head here moving onwards trying to throw a grenade for some apparent reason i decide to start shooting this dude as well and then accidentally deselect one of my grenades once again Pretty sloppy there, but we do end up uh, evening up the score here, making it 15 to 15, tying it up, and we ended up, well, practically taking the victory then. I mean, it's a tie, uh, but at the very least, I believe it will count as a victory either way. But we managed to do 27 kills and 17 deaths. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button as well, so I know that you want to see more. And on that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.